wonderful people of the interwebs welcome to the O'Brien channel and a big O'Brien welcome to you so today we're gonna be discussing chili can chili as a matter of fact so who is the best so we got to choose there's a lot of chili out there right and uh, so I've selected two name brands Today we're going to be discussing Wolf Brand Chili uh, and Hormel Chili. So we have Wolf Brand, right? And then we also have Hormel Chili. Okay, so we're going to discuss these two today. So which can chili stacks up and tastes the best? That's our goal today. So, again, welcome, and if you enjoy the content, please subscribe, like the video, and click that little bell button, and uh, help this channel grow. So, I'll do some, some different reviews based on requests and uh, your feedback. So, again, welcome, and thank you for stopping by to the O'Brien YouTube channel. And so, we're going to do just no beans chili today and so the wolf brand chili's got a, a a little bit unique history right and so it kind of goes goes back uh well if we step back even further right where did chili come from okay uh if you're around the world and you've never heard of chili where have you been where have you been chili is delicious uh you know you can make it homemade and it tastes really good but so where did it originate? So really, I, I'm in Texas, right, in the U U.S. So here, Chile's a big part of the fabric, kind of our, of our history, right? In this region, anyway. So where did it come from? I don't know, I'm just a guy on YouTube. No. <laughs> so, so basically, it actually comes from Texas uh, and Northern, North Eastern Mexico, so it's kind of like a uh, a Texican dish, right? So it's got roots in both places, and so Wolf Brand, you know, has a Texas root, and it comes, uh, it's got uh, I think Lyman, or a gentleman by the name of Lyman, uh, invented it, and he used to travel around, and he had he had his his favorite animal with him had had drove drove like a truck and, and kind of went around selling it for like I think five cents a bowl back in the day and uh, so it, you know we're not doing history today but just kind of give you some perspective on it so he went around with this his pet and it was a wolf like a wolf wolf animal and was in a cage and it went around and it, it had an attraction and the chili obviously was delicious enough to where it la lasted into today and so the name the, the the wolf part came from that so Hormel uh, I don't know you know I did some history on it and there there's I think 1935 or something of that nature again I'm not a historian on Chile we were doing a taste test today but uh, Hormel was more about feeding it's more commercialized I would say they uh, they have like the Denty Moore brand and we might do a little bit more on that later if you if you like this type of content and so anyway Hormel created like chili and spam and then created like a Denty Moore beef stew and kind of around the same time there's some uh, historic times where Hormel kind of fed the military and things like that and so that's that's where it comes from Hormel is a little bit more commercialized uh, I, I, you know I'd have to do more research but I can't think of an actual name inventor if so put it in the comments if you know I would love the interaction and the feedback and uh, us kind of work together and, and provide additional information but so yeah so who, bottom line though, canned chili in a can, 
Wolf, Wolf Brand versus Hormel. Who's going to stack up? That's what we're talking about today. Oh, yeah. Let's get it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So, let's get into it. So, as you can see, you have the Wolf Brand Chili on your right, my left. And you have the Hormel Chili on my right, your left. <clears throat> so, let's take a look at what they look like as far as texture. Okay, so let's do the Wolf Brand Chili, right? Okay. They're both piping hot. And just so you realize, right? There is no seasoning added. So we're doing a strict review straight out of the can. So if you look at the Wolf Brand Chili, the texture, you know, it's a little stringy. You don't see big chunks of meat. Uh, steam is coming off of it. My hand is actually <laughs> on fire right now. So I'll put this back down. So basically you have the Wolf Brand Chili. It's a little watery. Okay. So for the Hormel, move the can to the side. Unveil the Hormel Chili, right? So if you look at both of them, so the Wolf Brand Chili is a little bit lighter in color. We'll go over to the Hormel. Oh, wow. Looking at the Hormel, it's much chunkier. So right off the bat, we notice a lot more meat content or vegetable, vegetable protein. So looking at it, the texture of the uh, Hormel chili looks much better. You see, notice the big chunks on it. So, looking at that, looks much better. So, bottom line, alright, who stacks up? Which chili is best? Which has the flavor? That's the most important thing. Which one of these two reigns supreme? First, let's start with the Hormel. And as you can see, as mentioned earlier... Oh, it's dripping. Nice. It's a lot thicker. So let's take take a bite. Mm. First impressions is texture is good, right? Mmm. The Hormel chili. It's good. And they claim, if you look on here, well, it doesn't say it, but they, they claim that Hormel Chili is America's number one seller of chili. So I see why. Mmm. The taste is good. Texture is good. And I must say, I must say, that hmm my first impression of the Hormel chili is not bad uh, it has a you know a thickness to it it has big chunks to it keep in mind no seasonings added straight out of the can so true flavor right out of the can of these two dominating chilies. I would say that the Hormel chili is not bad. No, I can see using this for a variety of recipes. And, I mean, look. See that big chunk? Very delicious. 
decent flavor. You could taste it has a, a little bit of a greasy content to it. That has depth to the flavor. So I can understand why it's America's, or at least Hormel, they claim that Hormel chili uh, is the number one in America. And it may be more just about marketing, not so much flavor, but I gotta say it tastes good. Texture is good. There's no wow component to it, right? So I have to be honest with you. It uh, it does taste good. I can see using this on a variety of recipes, hot dogs. Uh, by the way, just so you know, the winner of today's taste test will be on a future video. So if you if you like this, just keep in mind. I'm going to post another another video whichever chili is most dominant and stacks up and really puts the flavor in and and, and has a better rating. Uh I'll post a simple recipe Frito pie which is a chili cheese Frito pie uh delicious snack. It's a uh, delicious fast and simple and I'll uh some of you have had it in the past. If you haven't, I'm going to post it. It's very simple to make. So whichever chili reigns supreme and dominates the other, I'll utilize that chili, the worthy chili uh, of our Frito pie recipe. So keep that in mind. Stay tuned for that. So one more bite of the Hormel. pretty good you know if you make your homemade recipe it's obviously going to be better than a canned product but we have to be honest with ourselves with uh, with us being in today's fast paced society it's nice to have things in a can that are delicious and has some historic value to it and uh, have evolved over the years so with that being said, let's try the Wolf Brand Chili, okay? So, texture-wise, you know, texture-wise, like I mentioned earlier, it's a little bit stringier. It doesn't have the, uh, to be honest with you, it doesn't have the big chunks that the Hormel Chili has. So it doesn't have the big chunks of beef, uh, but keep in mind the Hormel Chili it may be a vegetable protein that's creating that that illusion of beef. I don't know. Uh, all I can do is give you my opinion of the taste and flavor of of the chili itself, straight out of the can. Again, no additional seasonings. Straight flavor out of the can. Who stacks up? Who's going to be the best? So let's try the Wolf Brand chili, all right? Wow. Hang on. That was pretty good. Hang on. Mmm. Wow. Although not as chunky as the Hormel chili, the flavor and the seasonings, mmm, the depth of it. Oh. Really good. I mean that's got that's got the strength of flavor involved. Mm, wow, totally different. If you're going from one to the other, you can totally tell the difference in flavors. So we're looking at the Wolf Brand again. I got to give uh, more comparison, more depth to it. Mmm. You know the texture is not bad. Doesn't have the big check, the uh, big chunks, but the flavor is incredible. You can tell. You can tell there's some some value to the flavor. 
Whereas I think Hormel relies on the chunkiness and kind of an average flavor, to be honest. Uh, the Wolf brand, it seems like it seems like they 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 stuck to their historic recipe. Mmm. Really good. It's gonna be hard to rate. But I will be honest with you. You'll get honesty here. Mmm. I even like the, <laughs> a little bit left around the rim. Okay, back to the Hormel. Again, more texture, bigger chunks. Mmm. That is crazy. Because, you know, and I'll, I'll cleanse my palate, right? But I went from Hormel to Wolf Brand and really love the depth of the Wolf Brand flavor. Then I go back to the Hormel and you know what? I love the texture, but the flavor's not there. Both of them are a little high on the greasy side. But with chili, you're gonna have you're gonna have just the natural fat of things, and that actually adds depth to the flavor. So I like it. So I'm gonna cleanse my palate because I want to be completely fair with you. Okay, once again, Hormel. It's rating time. Not bad. Just lacking flavor. So, flavor not quite being there on the Hormel. But texture's there. So, bottom line is, what do I rate Hormel? Well, the chili is good. But it doesn't, to be honest with you, stack up to a Wolf Brand chili. Uh, the flavor is just too good of Wolf Brand. So for Hormel, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best, I rate Hormel a 7. You know, a little bit above average, decent. Nothing wrong with it on average, right? But... Or Mel, you just don't stack up to a wolf brand chili. I'm sorry. That's the truth. And it, it's not that that you're well, you need to put more flavor in it. And maybe you need <laughs> need to recreate it to where you have a more robust, new and improved version. So seven is the rating for Hormel. Where does Wolf Brand stack up? One more time. Mm. Wow, folks, I'm telling you. Wow. I'm going to have another bite. Wolf Brand Chili is delicious. Mmm. All the flavors going around in my mouth right now. All I can say is you need to get you a can of Wolf Brand. And they, they have a uh, commercial slogan. Neighbor, how long's it been since you had a steaming bowl or hot bowl of Wolf Brand Chili? Well, that's been too long. I have to agree with that marketing because the, the flavor is really good. So, what is the O'Brien rating? What is the truth? On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best, on a canned chili, I rate Wolf Brand Chili a 9 out of 10. Solid. Solid flavor. Yes, I would like it to be chunkier, but to be, to, to, to be straightforward, it's really good. It's a really good chili. Mmm. So, hands down, Wolf Brand. Wolf Brand, 
you stack up. So yeah, bottom line is Hormel, 7 out of 10. Mm, yeah, Hormel, you just don't stack up to a piping hot, delicious can of Wolf Brand Chili. So, Wolf Brand Chili wins the day, folks. So, to be honest with you, it's, it's more flavorful, it tastes better. It absolutely crushes Hormel's attempt at, at chili. So, whether you like Hormel or Wolf Brand, it's all opinion based. But I gotta be honest with you, I mean, if you taste them side by side, Wolf Brand wins the day every day, every time. So, Hormel, you're a chump. You don't stack up to the Wolf Brand flavor so we'll be posting uh recipes with wolf brand in the future and because it's a better chili it tastes better in my opinion so with that being said thanks for stopping by the o'brien channel and have a great day much love like subscribe click that little bell and help us grow. Have a great day.